happy Monday. And today for phonics, we're going to do the er sound. Er sound. It's kind of like you're growling, er, right? And usually we've talked about how that's the er, especially if it's at the end of a word, like, like a teacher, right? It's usually an er, or it's bigger, or smaller. It's usually er if it's the end of the word, usually. But there are two other ways to make that er sound. So er, ir, and ur. Now, the nice thing about this for reading is if you see er, ir, or ur, they all make the er sound. You just have to remember one sound, er, because they say the same thing. So that makes it easier for reading because you only have to remember one sound. It makes it harder for writing, though, because you can't hear any difference between er, ir, or ur. You are going to have to memorize it, okay? So I want to look at these words with you so we can chop these out. Let's get that a little closer. All right. So we have, it. remember, it doesn't matter if it's I, R, or U, R, or E, R. It's all the er sound. All right. So get your chopping hands. Got it ready? So I can see it. So it's, you wouldn't divide this up. It's one sound. All right. Ready? Er, oh, curl. Right, it's one sound, even so it's, we hear three sounds even though there's four letters. All right, let's try this one with the IR. G, er, ol, girl. All right, first. All right, let's try that one. F, er, st, first. Like first grade. All right, ooh, let's try this one. Now, the G is going to make a J sound in this one, okay? J. Er, m, germ. That's why we're washing our hands so much, right? So we don't get those germs. All right, ready? V, v, verb. Do you remember what a verb is? An action word, right? That's our action words. All right, oh, here we go. There you are. T, er, n, turn. Ooh, a th, brother. F, er, d, third. S-H, brother. Sh, er, t, shirt. So far, a lot of these have been three chops. Let's see if this one is or not. Ready? B, er, s, t, first. Ooh, we got four chops. All right. S, t, er, n, stern. Stern is kind of just like firm, right? When you, your parents have to say something maybe another time after you didn't obey, they'll they say, I told you to brush your teeth. That was kind of stern, right? All right, let's try this one. Er, t, hurt. And next one. K, ol, er, k, clerk. A clerk is like somebody who works in a store, like a grocery store clerk would be the one who checks out your, your groceries when you're at the store. That's what that is. All right, so those I-R, U-R, E-R all make the er sounds. So on our spelling list today, it's 5.5. You can practice it on Spelling City. Um, we have those words, and our bonus word is birthday. It has that I-R in it, birthday. Day. All right. And then you also have some words to read to somebody in your family and see if you can figure out all of these words on here. Okay. So they, let's see if you can read them all. Now, our book today is Miss Mirth's Herb Garden. Now, the herb, the H here does not say its name. It does not, it's not Herb Garden. The H is silent on that herb garden. An herb is something that you that you can grow to um, have like time, like seasonings in your food, okay? So basil and thyme and so you can ask your, your family about that a little bit. But Miss Mirth's Herb Garden. Miss Mirth has a garden filled with herbs and flowers. The thought, oh, there's a word thought from last week. The thought of it makes Miss Mirth smile. So she must love working in her garden. 
Her friends love the garden too. Miss Mirth is up, oh, here's our word from last week, you remember it? Early today. This is her birthday. It's my, so this one, we need to chop this one out. Seven, D, 70, 70, third, says Miss Mirth, so she's 73. Who will come, oh, there's a word from last week too, along. Miss mm. Mirth checks her mail. There is nothing in her box. A bird chirps. Nothing. Oh, by the way, there's our word nothing in there a couple times. That's from last week, too. Nothing else makes a peep. Miss Mirth picks an herb. It's green and curly. She puts it in an urn. An urn is like a vase. Okay. She feels a teeny bit sad. Why do you think she's sad? Hmm. Nobody's celebrating their birthday with her. Not even online. Then lots of people come. Happy birthday, they yell. We did not forget you. You didn't, Miss Mirth beams. I'm so glad. So she's they're having a little party. So hopefully we get to a part where we can have parties again for birthdays. So highlight those E-R-I-R-U-R -R -R words, read it to somebody in your family, make sure you're practicing that, and then we have a fun game for you this time. So it's called Roll, Find, and Highlight. So you need a dice for this, and hopefully you have one at home. If you don't, there are a lot of dice apps that you could download, have your parents download a dice app if you don't have an actual dice at home, but hopefully you do. Um, and you're going to roll the dice, and if you say, I get a three, I'm going to look for an I-R word, and I'm going to find an I-R one, and I'm going to... Mm, oh, here's one. Skirt. Skirt. And I'm going to read it. And then I can highlight it or color it or circle it. Okay, and then roll it again and say I got a six. An AR word. I find an AR word. Remember, that's an R R. Oh, K R. Car. And then I need to highlight it or circle it. Okay, so this is, um, then you can take a picture of it. Probably, I'm going to say kind of what we did before. Do as many as as your age at least. So at least do six or seven rolls, okay? If you want to do more, you may do more. But don't just color the whole thing. You actually have to roll the dice and then read the word before you get to color it, okay? So take a picture of this and send it to us. On the back is just an optional, okay? You don't have to do this on the back, but I know a lot of you like those word searches. So there's some words with our, they call them the bossy R because they take over the, the sound. Um, so with some O-R and I-R and A-R and U-R and E-R words, okay? So uh, have fun doing that and sending us a picture. Um.